you have a very keen interest to work on a data you are so enthusiastic to learn power bi but in order to learn power bi or in order to learn something or to become a data analyst we generally have to work with the data so now many of the people who are interested to work on power bi to work on a data are getting confused on from where should we get the data sets to work on power bi project hi i am m asif hussain from know how academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn what are the different ways that we are going to get the data sets to work for power bi projects or to work on a data for sql server or some data transformation so by the end of this video you could get the idea or you could even get the links of the different data sets for the power bi projects or to work on a data so watch till here and my dear viewers in a google if you go and search something called as kaggle so if we just click on kaggle we have kaggle for your machine learning and data science community and as soon as we click on this particular kaggle it will ask us for signing in and uh, it will ask us for our registration and once we are new to this we have to register and get sign up so once that is done you will land up into your page okay you into your profile and now we have something called as data sets here in the left side as soon as you click on the data sets you can see that the kaggle website it is designed in such a way that it will give us the trending data sets or the data sets for the different particular domains and streams so let us consider the trending data sets that we have if i click on select all and we have the apple stock data we have food order cost and profit analysis we have store sales data we have laptop data set we have spotify users reviews data set okay we have traffic sign recognition data set and we even have data analytics with python for demographics data set so these are the data sets that are trending right away okay these are the trending data sets or if you would like to uh, work on some data set which is related to music which is related to business which is related to computer science which is related to the classification which is related to standardized testing if you go with the medical sector there are lots and lots and lots of data sets that we have it here if i would like to show it to you something about the business so where we have the sales and marketing data and all so as soon as i have clicked on this business we can see that we have customers churn prediction data we have imports exports data we have the lots of data which are related to consumer price index okay we have the apple stocks data smart pressure control prediction data so let's consider that i am going on food order cost and profit analysis data so once when i click on it we can see that it is giving us the description about the data set it is giving us what exactly is this data set about okay now it is even giving us the detailed overview okay how many entities how many columns we have in this particular data set and as well if you just scroll down okay so you, you you can even see that if there are any reviews about this particular data set okay what is the compact of the data set though how many number of columns we have it here and all these things we can see it and even you can see that there is an option called download so here also we have an option called download or even here we have an option called download so as soon as i click on download okay it is asking me so i have clicked on download so as soon as i click on download it has been downloaded and if i click on open so this particular data set it is getting opened up in my excel sheet as you can see that the complete data of the food orders that we have it that we can get it here all right so now this particular excel file we can import it into our power bi desktop and the data transformation part the requirements the modeling the schema okay the reports the visuals the dax functions all these things we can use it in order to prepare a report with this particular data so here kaggle is one way to get the different data sets that we would like to work on our power bi projects and even if you would like to go to google and in google if you even directly go and search for the data sets for power bi okay if i click on this one 
there are many sample data sets that the Microsoft is giving us in to practice it. Okay, we have a lot of data sets that we have it. Okay, sales and return sample PBX file we have it. Okay, so we have the reports. Okay, we have the different guidelines. We have the COVID US sample data. Okay, so even we can see that we have the revenue opportunities. We have HR sample data. So in this particular Microsoft, if you go and see there, we can even get the PBIX file, the complete Power BI file also we can get it. That's a very interesting part that we have it. We can see that the regional sales sample data. So here we have the report, okay, and uh, we have the sample file, the workspace, and even we have the interesting data that we have is the corporate uh, spend sample data or customer profitability sample data, some artificial intelligence sample data. So you can even have a reference of this Power BI file and according to this also you can go and practice for your Power BI projects. So this is the second way that I am showing it to you to get the data sets to practice for a Power BI projects. So one is Microsoft and if you use the Microsoft data sets, the advantage is that you are even going to get the raw uh, Power BI file. So with this Power BI file, you can even download it where you can open this in our Power BI desktop and what all the things that you have done, I mean the Microsoft people, they have inbuilt it, right? So what are the metrics they have used, the calculated columns and measures they have used, the transformations, the modeling that they have done, you could directly view it and you can directly practice it from Power BI desktop itself. So this is the second way. Now, if I already come here and there are multiple websites that you have it uh, in order to uh, get the data from uh, the Google in order to practice for your Power BI projects. So that also you can get it. So if I just would like to see this Hacker Noon uh, website, so there are 13 best data sets for Power BI practice. So sample superstore sales data, we have it, adventure works data. So the interesting part is adventures data works, data warehouses very huge data okay so if you would like to work in a very rigorous way in power bi then i think adventure works database that works a lot and we have flight delays and cancellations data okay we have uh, so new york uh, taxi data we have global superstore data we have the you know seattle weather data we have world bank development indicators we have us health data and this is purely on the healthcare domain so my dear viewers you might have heard that uh, in whenever we are applying for any job if you would have observed the naukri.com indeed.com or jolly hats so here if you see in this no in the job searching platforms they might have specifically mentioned and a few companies especially they specifically mentioned that uh, hands on experience on healthcare domain is advantage is an ad added advantage or hands on experience on financial data is on an added advantage hands on experience on uh, you know, sales and marketing data is an added advantage hands on experience on healthcare domain is an added advantage so there are a lot of uh, uh, requirements that the companies re ask for so if i click on this us health data then we can see that again you know it gets landed up into the us health data sector so here we have the drugs data and all these different informations and we have all different csp files here that you can download it so these are the, the different ways that we can get the data sets to uh, work on a power bi projects in uh, our power bi desktop and from this the best part is getting from the microsoft so if you go with the microsoft the added advantage is that you are also getting the power bi file where you can see the complete report what are the metrics what are the calculations that have been done so i guess these different ways if you would like to use it to get the data for power bi projects or to do some data transformation that will be a uh, best solution for you to uh, showcase your uh, expertise in power bi so in this video we have learned the different ways of getting the data sets for our power bi projects so thank you for choosing the hub academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning